Hi there, this is Wim Dijkgraaf uh, with a quick presentation of an application that I've been working on for the last couple of months, which is called the Tone Clock. And if you have a kind of modern browser, you will be able to use all the functionality. Let's have a look. If you go to the website www.toneclock.org, it will open with uh, a pre-configured sheet which is inspired by the Dutch composer Peter Schat. Actually, that is how I got the idea, because in uh, 1992 I studied at a conservatory and I wrote kind of a small booklet um, inspired by Peter Schat's tone clock. Peter Schat is a Dutch composer who used his tone clock system to compose his pieces. Um, the site is, has this sheet, but you are free to do whatever you want with it, so it's not specific to Peter Scott. Let's have a look at what you can do. Uh, let's go to Sheets, and let's start with an empty sheet. Um, you can print this and draw the things on your own, but what you see here is the 12 tones of our system, and you can start by clicking on an hour, you can start drawing uh, figures and those figures represent harmonies or scales so for example the C major scale would be something like this yeah the C major scale and in order to to show how you think uh, about the root because if I say C major I think from the C as the starting point I, I right click on this hour and I say toggle root and now you have a graphical representation um, of a root if you want for example that one as a root that would be a possibility as well yeah the G mixolydian scale if you want to remove the root that you uh, drew, drew you just do toggle again and then it will remove that one um, now if you want to trans transpose this you simply click it hold it and drag the mouse down or up and you see now that the harmony will be transposed while the rest of the clock stays the same uh, the same here and the same over here of course now just drag up or down and it will go clockwise or anti-clockwise um, one other thing is it's possible to to change the color so I uh, right click on the harmony itself and now I can give it the color that I want. Yeah, simply right click and then click in the color box. You can put in your own hexadecimal color here or you select one. Um, if you like all the clocks to be the same, then you simply copy this on the clipboard and you go to this one and you say paste. Let me see. Uh, yeah. yeah, you paste it over here, and then it has the same color. Yeah, um, it's also possible to add harmonies on, uh, so to have more than one harmony in the clock. So I ch choose add, and now I have another one, and I if and it starts with that triangle triangle but you can easily change it in whatever shape you want. Um, and it, had, it has a kind of, if you want to delete it, you do that like that, just click delete. Let me add one again, like this. Uh, uh, and you can send that backwards, and now you see the black one is backwards and the top one. You can transpose only this one or only the other one simply by clicking the right harmony that you want. That's the basic functionality. Um, these hours are kind of small because this sheet is based on being able to print it on an A4 piece of paper. So what you can do is you can go to preferences, you go to sizes, and now you make you can make the hour size bigger. And you see that the hours the circles become uh, taller, larger, and now it's easier 
to click on the hours. So that can be a way to, to improve the usability for you. Um, if you prefer to work with a much bigger clock, you can size the clock like this. Um, also, if you want the font to be a little, little bit bigger, it's like this. Um, what else? The note name margin. Now you see that the spacing between the, the note name and the, the hour becomes bigger. So just have a look at what all these sliders do. It's kind of easy. Um, if you want less clocks on a sheet, you simply say, okay, I want, for example, three horizontal and only uh, two vertical. So now we have a grid of two by three by two, three by two. Um, as you can see, the way I prefer to work with the clock is in perfect fourths. So that's the standard interval. You can also think in seconds, like this. You see it drew the things, the, the harmonies uh, uh, again. It renewed it. And now you see it's based on uh, seconds. Um, if you would like to think in fifth, like the circle of fifth, then you can choose fourth, but end clockwise. And now you see C, G. So if you are very used to the circle of fifth, then this is the way to do that. For countries that work not with the alphabet, alphabetic way of naming the notes, but with Do, Re, Mi, you simply select it over here, and then for the modern composers under us, we, we have the pitch class names. Um, another thing is, you see that the flat notes are displayed here, and not the sharps. If you want, if you prefer to think in sharps, you select accidental sharps over here. Um, as I already said, pitch classes here for the mo modern composers, but it has also the ability to show the prime form, to show the fourth code, the interval vector, and the inversion. So if you are uh, into this kind of ways to look at harmonies, the tone clock has full support for that. And you simply bring it back like that. Um, that's the basic functionality. Have a look at the various sheets because, for example, these are all the intervals we have in our system, but also all the possible triads are here. All the possible tet tetra chords are here. So there are a lot of things to play with. Feel free, feel, feel free to contact me here in the About dialog. You see my email info at windagraph.com feel free if you have suggestions or questions or whatsoever um, ah last but not least everything you draw you can save locally so um, that what will happen is it will download a json file and the next time that you i will open something that i drew before let me see file let's open this one no idea why it doesn't work because it should <laughs> but that's what demos are for so I'll have a look at that um, have fun with the tone clock and please let me know if you have any suggestions features etc bye bye